Hi stamping friends, I'm Karina with karinascreations.com and I'm going to show you how to make this cute fancy fold card using the special reason stamp set. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is use some thick white cardstock and I'm using thick white cardstock because this is a previous card I made just using whisper white and you can see how flimsy it is because I used an embossing folder, the elegant dots. So I just find that by using thick white cardstock, it alleviates that problem and makes a nice stiff sturdy card. So first of all, I have already cut a card base. It is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And I am just going to score it at four and a quarter inches. And then I'll pull that out. And I'm just going to use my bone folder just to make a nice crisp crease. And then I'm going to do some stamping on it. Now I'm using the Special Reason stamp set. This is what the stamp set looks like. And it has matching framelits that cut out beautiful flowers as well. And I love the sentiments in the stamp set. It's a really, really great stamp set. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp. So I'm going to stamp my flowers first. I'm using Dapper Denim Ink and I'm just going to put a bunch of flowers randomly. You can see that the stamp is kind of designed to give a nice soft image. It's not a totally solid image. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, and then the next thing I'll do is add some flowers, not flowers, add a leaf image and I'm going to use mint macaron or mint macaroon. I always call it macaron but a lot of people say it's macaroon. And I'm just adding, I like to add the two leaves because I'm going over dapper denim ink, uh, you can't really see it through the flower so it actually looks really pretty. And we'll give it another flower. I keep calling it a flower. It's a leaf. It's a leaf. It's a leaf. We'll give it put one here. Okay I think I like that. If I don't you can just go in and add more flowers. So the next thing I'm going to do put it through the embossing folder. Now I am using the sparkle embossing folder and the Big Shot die cut machine. So I pull out my platform that says um, embossing on it and I know that's the right one to use or if you have an old style, different style Big Shot, you would just flip over tab one and I'm going to place it in my embossing folder like this making sure that the edge is lined up with the edge of the embossing folder as well. Let's flip it this way. Okay, there we go. Then I'll put the top plastic plate on. So I have one plate on the bottom and then the folder and then the second plate. Then feeding it through. The other thing I should point out is that it's important to take a look when you're looking at the embossing folder that the raised edge, when you roll it through, it's going to press up through your cardstock because you want the um, embossed area to pop up. You can have the de-embossed side too, it's totally up to you. This is the way I did it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is pull in my magnetic plate. Um, I like the magnetic plate because it holds my framelits in place. Move it this way so you can see what I'm doing. And I am using the, the top of my card. I am using a scallop shape from the scalloped oval or the layering circle dies. I like the layering circle dies because it comes with the circle shapes and the coordinating scallop circle shapes and I'm using the sixth largest scallop and I'm just basically making sure 
that it's centered on my card. And then I'll put a plastic plate. So I've got a plastic plate on the bottom and then your paper and your die and then a second plastic plate, cutting plate, and then we'll roll that through. I don't have a lot of space here for my video, so I'll have to keep moving that. Okay, so that cuts out that shape. This I can use on another card. So now it looks like this. Now the next thing I have to do, which I have already done, is using the same circle shape and dapper denim cardstock. I've already pre-cut one of these out for you. And then using the second largest stitched circle shape. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful stitching? I've already cut that out as well. But then I need to use this circle and this one is the fourth largest circle from the layering circle framelit dies. If you don't have the layering circle framelit dies, I highly recommend them. And I'm just centering it because this is going to create a frame for my card. You'll see what I'm doing once we go to finish the card. But I like to get all my big shotting done all at one time and then I've got some space to work on my card. Put that aside. And there you have it. So this is how it turns out. So you can see it created a really cute frame and it has a stitch, stitches on it as well. Okay, so I will set my dies aside so I don't lose them. Set these pieces aside. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to create the inside of the card, which is a bit of a fancy fold. And you need to cut a piece of thick white cardstock. It is five and a quarter inches by six and a half inches. And then I'm going to get my stamp and trimmer out. And I'm using the scoring blade. And I'm going to score it at two inches, four inches, and six inches. Get that lined up perfectly. And then you can see we have three panels that are two inches wide and then this little half inch side as well. And what we're going to do with this half inch side is we're going to make little tabs so that when it's done it's going to look like this. So I'm just going to cut in at an angle to this first half inch score line and then I'm just using my paper snips. You can use your stamp and trimmer if you want. I'm just cutting down to about here and then cutting. I'm making little tabs. And then that will allow me to attach my inside to the outside of the card. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a mountain fold and a valley fold. And I'm just going to burnish the edges with my bone folder. Now before I attach this to the card, I do want to do a little stamping. So I'm going to take my dapper denim ink and I'm just going to stamp a flower and then take my leaf image and then again I'll stamp it twice. I don't know. I like it two times. And then I'm going to stamp the inside greeting as well. So this greeting says wishing you a beautiful day and then this stamp says happy birthday which will go on the front. So I'm just going to lightly Tap, tap, tap. Stamp that on the inside of the card. So everything is stamped nicely. Now I'm going to take this side and add some tear tape to my card. And um, just put it on like so and then tear it off. So I've done that already. And then I'm going to line this up on the inside of my card. So it will go right about there. And I'm making sure that it's centered so I have the uh, right amount of cardstock showing on the top and the bottom of the inside layer. And then I've already put tear tape on my two little tabs. And then I'm just going to close it up. And then it, you can see it's perfectly centered. 
and that's going to make my card. And again, I like to go over with the bone folder because this is thick white cardstock. And that's how it looks. Okay, now to decorate this piece, I need to stamp happy birthday. Well, I guess, you know what, before I stamp happy birthday, let's put the frame in. So we will put the frame in. I'm using tiny, tiny dots of the liquid glue because like I said, if I put this down and it's a little crooked, it gives me a few seconds to move it. Very rarely do I put a piece of cardstock down and it's perfect. See, it's got a bit of wiggle room. There you go. Okay, now I can stamp my happy birthday. And again, I'm just doing tap, tap, tap. Now with my clear mount stamps, I do like the label on them. If they ever fall off, I just pull them off and add a tiny bit of snail. That's how I get mine to stick on the block. Okay, and then I'll just use a stamp and scrub to clean it. This is a really old one I have. My good one I have around for classes. But it's nice because um, I can just clean the stamp because we need this to be mint macaroon. Okay, and then on this little piece, scrap piece that I cut out, we can stamp the flower image in mint macaroon. And then I'm going to use the matching stylish, stem, stylish Stems framelits to punch out the flower. So I've already cut out my flower with my Stylish Stems framelit dies. And you can see it's great because it has some um, framelits, like outside pieces, and then more detailed pieces um, to make the inside. What I mean by making the inside. It's got these little pieces the framelits I can actually frame your flower as well. If I wanted to, I can add that on. I didn't add that on though. I decided I liked my flower by itself without a frame on top. And I'm just gonna put a dimensional on. And then I thought it needed something. So then I grabbed one of the metallic enamel shapes. These are great because you get two sheets in silver and gold. And I'm just going to grab one of the centers. And so it's silver. Looks super cute. And then to finish off my card, I just have to make sure that it is centered. There we go. And then I'm just going to use some tear tape because I don't want it moving around. So, on this piece of this little piece of paper, well, it's actually part of the inside of the card. In the inside of the window, I'm just adding two pieces of tear tape. And then we'll remove it. And then I'll just fit this piece in, kind of like a little puzzle, lining up the scallops. And then my card is done. So that is it. So that's how you make this fun fancy fold card using the special reason stamp set. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy stamping.